Okay, well, welcome to our first leadership boot camp. And um, this was kind of recommended that I do this just to get some basics in to the new leaders and also some refresher for those of you that have been leaders for a while. So thanks for joining us. And we are recording. So let's move on to the next slide, please. So, like I said, some basics. And what is leadership? Well, the explanation of leadership is the Avon Leadership Opportunity provides an enhanced opportunity for your Avon business, offering rewards and bonuses for building your team and increasing your sales. The next slide is what is recruiting? Well, it's the process of having a conversation about the benefits of joining the Avon team. And we'll talk about those conversations in a little bit. Next slide is what is mentoring? The sales leader is a team who has personal recruited and appointed you, sometimes referred to as an advisor or an upline. Okay, the next slide is what is the compensation? We'll cover that more in detail, if not tonight, in the next uh, Zoom that we do for the Leadership Boot Camp. So the next slide goes into some question and answers, I guess, is where I'm at. And I'm gonna read through these first, and then we're gonna go back into the slide and just do some um, kind of e examples, I guess is the best way to say it. So what are you saying? And where are you finding new team members? And are you open to having conversations with people around you? So we'll come back to that slide in a minute. We're gonna go to the next slide and go through everything first. What are people producing activities, otherwise known as income producing experiences? Are you creating people producing activities? All right, build up your daily activities to choose people producing activities. So we'll come back to that slide as well. Next slide is some examples of people producing activities. And I there's just one more slide that I'm, or two more slides I'm gonna cover, and then we're gonna come back to these question and answer things. So the next slide is something that I've heard numerous times, and I don't think I've ever shared it with our team or with, with leaders is you can't chase money. Money is too fast. Choose people to serve people and then money will chase you. So that's some good thoughts that we'll come back to. And then um, the challenge, the next challenge. This is the challenge of leadership boot camp. You get two personal self-appoints, not ones that are given to you by Avon, who place a $100 plus order by the close of campaign 16. And I will give you two additional names. They may not be in your area, but it'll be two names that you can make contact with and put in your team once you make engagement, plus more surprises. So I'm not revealing everything right now. So right now we're gonna back up some slides so that we can do some question and answer things. And uh, that's gonna be the slide that, what are you saying? So go back, I think uh, one more slide. So um, what are you saying? So um, Jody, if you're um, still with us, and you want to unmute yourself, go ahead. I did. 
Um, do you feel comfortable telling me, Jody, what you're saying to people as you come face to face with people you don't know? Um, okay, for instance, a couple weeks ago, I was at Pearl's and I was coming down from, you know, from this apartment down, down going downstairs to leave. And this girl had told me she used to be an Avon rep and she was thinking about getting back into it. And so I gave her my card and because I I wasn't able to tell her that it was free sign up because it was that quick. And, but um, I have not heard anything from her. And I, I told her about our new collaboration with LG in what we can order outside of the Avon book and, and stuff. So I didn't really have a lot of time to talk to her. I wasn't able to get her name wrote down. I mean, it was that quick. She was only on the elevator for like two floors. So it was really that quick. And I haven't heard nothing back or heard anything from her or nothing. So, mm -hmm. but I don't get a lot of chances to get out and to socialize. Well, and an elevator like that, that's that's a perfect opportunity. They can't get away from you if no. it's a longer elevator, right? But right, it's right. also, you know, with you saying that you're not able to get out socially a lot, that would give you time to be practicing those things. So those things would come out directly without, thinking, okay, what am I going to say next? Or, oh, shoot, I didn't get her name and number, um, you know, that type of thing. And so once you do it more and more, it's going to be a natural. It's going to just flow out of your mouth and you're not even really, really thinking about what you're saying, although, you know, you are, but you're also, um, you know, just it's comfortable, it feels real to them, and it's not something that they are they are going, my God, she's like attacking me, you know, because we don't want it to feel like that at all. Like right. you said, you're giving benefits. You're saying what that LG is connected with us now when that gives us more opportunities and and things like that. So now you're just kind of hoping that she calls you back, but probably won't. I mean, I'll be totally right. honest with you, probably won't. Even sometimes when I get a number and I give them a call, I don't hear back. So there's right. probably nine times out of 10 that you won't hear back from them. So Another example that I can share with you that we just had the other day, I was at my heart doctor and I was wearing really big, big hoop earrings uh, with blue, I think, and I not, no pink and something and a, you know, clear stone in them. And the lady that was setting up the next appointment for me was like, I love your earrings. Well, you know, Sometimes I have to make Darwin be quiet in the background because he'll just take over and roll with him. <laughs> roll with him. <laughs> I can see that. And gets, gets all excited about it. But anyway, it was kind of like, oh, wow. I said, these are, these are my company earrings I got from my company. And she just kind of raised her eyebrows. And she was like, I said, you know, you've heard of Avon, right? And she goes, oh my God, I've heard of Avon. And I have, you know, not seen an Avon book in like forever, right? So I said, well, I can send you a book because I, you know, mail out my book. So give me a card with your address on it and that type of thing. And then I also, you know, I think by then maybe Darwin had left or went towards the lobby or whatever. And I said, plus, I said, all these ladies here, you could be sharing your online store with them and you could be earning some extra money. And she was like, really? Well, what does it cost to do that? And I said, zero. 
She goes, you're kidding me. So anyway, we got her business card. We're going to include her in the books. You know, we have another appointment. We got her name, that type of thing. So after she gets a book, then it gives me the opportunity for to call back and say, you know, say that, you know, we talked, you know, what did you think and that type of thing. Um, so that's another scenario that it may happen in. Um, another one uh, was the other day, and I don't know if I remember what that situation was. I can't remember now, but finding new team members is everywhere. And even if you're at home, you know, we have that old fashioned thing called the phone that we hold mm -hmm. up to our ear. <laughs> right. You know? And it's, yes, I agree a hundred percent. Phone calling is probably not as popular nowadays as it used to be because people don't know the number. They don't answer the mm. call. Yeah. They get scam, that type of thing. Um, have you ever tried, Jody, to call people? Um, That's okay. You yeah, know, my customers. Your customers, but... right. But um, I don't know if areas even deliver the phone book anymore. Does your area have a phone book? Or yeah, a, a come, directory? Yeah. Yeah. It... So cold calling, that's what that's called. When you go to the phone book and you cold call. And an example of cold calling, and this might be the last slide that we get to because I want to keep this to a half an hour, 45 minutes. But an example of cold calling is you take, like in, for instance, if you do an event and you have people sign up their name, address, phone number, and then they say, you know, the questions, the three questions, are you currently getting an Avon book? Um, and then another question is, let me grab one right here. I've got some sitting here. Um, oh my gosh. I keep them rolled up in this cup. Um, yeah, it's like, are you currently receive a book? Um, would you like to know more about Avon fundraising? And would you like to know about having an Avon party? So that is a simple questionnaire to use with cold calling is, are you currently getting a book from anyone? Are you connected with anyone with Avon? They'll say yes or no. And if they say yes, then you say, well, I'm glad that you are. And um, I'm going to leave you my name and number. If that changes for some reason, let me know. And you're easily just cutting off the conversation and saying, I hope you have a good day today and hang up. Okay. So it's scary. I know. I know. It's scary. And let me tell you, when I started Avon some 30, 40 years ago, we had to go knocking on doors. I mean, that right. was what we had to do. And I remember going out with, at that time, my district manager, and I would go up to that door and I would pray that no one was going to answer that door. I honestly <laughs> would. I would honestly, oh my God, please. I just want to leave this book. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to get all right. nervous. I'm getting sweaty you know, and it was already hot doing these things. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we were trained to do at the very beginning of Avon. So finding new team members or where are you finding new team members? That question is kind of like, you should always be looking for new team members. If they're not going to be team members, they could be your customer. So it's always shoot for the moon, but hey, if you fall amongst the stars and get a customer, that's okay too, right? 
-huh. So finding new team members, um, like when you do go out to the grocery store or do you have groceries delivered? Actually, I just took Roger to his doctor's appointment yesterday and okay. left a couple books there. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're you're jumping over Roger. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just happened to have him in my purse. And he and when I said when I showed him, he's like, I didn't even he goes, I didn't even think about bringing books with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if he's having a lot of doctor's appointments, he's going to be thinking about that more, I think. Right, but right. Yeah, so, yeah, the doctor's office, you know, we just had two incidences for that, you know, but leaving a book, I hope it was not a brand new book that you left, because leaving books... It was the current campaign. It was the current campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't recommend that, because I know that campaign is... You know, those books, you know, cost us all money, right? And when we now only have one campaign, no back orders, I still at my show, I mean, the show that I just did last Saturday, I think I was giving out campaign 12 and 13 books. Okay, even though we're on 14. And it's okay to do that because I just tell them, hey, you know, I had a barcode up on the side of the tent and I said, you can scan that with your phone and you'll see the current book right there. But this is just an example or a sample book. So the specials and everything are probably not good anymore. So, right. but call me and we'll see what the price is. They don't change too often. We'll see what the prices are and, you know, we'll see what the, see the best we can do. Okay. So finding okay. new team members, I highly recommend you using older, yes. books. older books. I mean, I don't care if they're last Christmas books, right? After all, it's Christmas in July, right? <laughs> right, right. Very much so. Very much so. Yeah. So. So whatever way it might be, if it is, you know, you're outside working on the yard, you're stopping at a gas station, um, you're buying groceries, uh, you're, like we said, going to the doctor, you're, I mean, any activity, just mix it in with what you're doing, because we we don't expect you to say, okay, this hour in this day, I'm going to go out and only talk Avon. You know, I love to talk Avon whenever I get out shopping for new clothes. Cause Don, admit it, you do. dream Avon. Huh? You dream Avon. I do dream <laughs> Avon. But, you know, okay, but when you're at home, you know, you have other things, which is a whole nother subject of social media, right? So, you know, we'll talk more about that in another boot camp because that's kind of a whole subject. But okay. having open conversations with people around you is kind of the key thing, the key thing to work on. And we're going to work on more of that in our next Zoom that we have for boot camp because it has been a half an hour. And I have said that I wanted to make these short. So mm -hmm. in our next Zoom, and I don't know, Jody, do you think Tuesday nights work pretty well for you? Yeah, <laughs> because um, Jack, I take Jack Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Okay. To to get labs done for his chemo okay. and stuff. So Tuesday or Thursday nights is I think when we're going to have these um these boot camps. Okay. I'm gonna try and do it every week. I don't think okay. I'm gonna do it more than once a week. I think it would get too much, but I think we're gonna shoot for Tuesday nights, but I'm very open to whoever is listening to this recording and feels that 
that uh, another like Thursday night would be better for them. We could well, down to that, that like that. seven or around seven. Seven o'clock is a good time because I'm usually back here by then anyway. Because okay. he either gets blood and platelets, sometimes just platelets, sometimes two platelets to go with one. But it just it varies. Yeah. So we're there from eight thirty in the morning. Sometimes at five. So five. Sometimes okay. we get out at one, sometimes three. It, like I said, it just varies what his levels for his blood his cell counts are. So what What other, I mean, you're taking him every, twice a week? Well, he has uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he has labs. And, and uh, that's where he gets his blood and his platelets. And then uh, the seventh of next month, he will be starting chemo again. And he'll be doing both, but he'll be at his daughter's for that, for those seven days or five days. But I take him to um, the Quad Cities Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for labs to get okay. blood and platelets. So how many so, of, how many of those lab techs have you talked to, Jody? Um, I haven't really talked to many of the lab techs. Um, the nurses there know that I'm with Avon, and I haven't had any bites yet. And I I gently lead it in their conversation whenever I talk with them. When I'm there, because I just stay there with them instead of driving back here to save on gas. I'll just sleep there in a the chair. It reclines. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> so, so think about, and we can talk about this next uh, week too, is think about how you can build those conversations with those people about Avon, you know, instead of just, you know, I sell Avon, you know, that kind of thing. And that's kind of like a door slammer, you know, that will, okay. will slam the door right in front of you. So, so we'll talk more about the conversations with people around you. Uh, we'll also in the next um, boot camp, we will talk about the people producing activities, which is you know, the next slide, you want to go on to the next slide, Darwin. Uh, so we'll talk about the people producing activities, uh, which are income producing experiences. And I should have went to the park because it was an ice cream club tonight. But uh, I didn't go. <laughs> well, we're going to be done. feeling good. Building. So uh, we're going to talk about building up your daily activities for those act you know for those people producing opportunities so we're going to talk about that and then we're going to talk more about the activities like i said so that's going to be our next one i won't always have a powerpoint i might just pull up these two powerpoints and we'll have open discussion so for those okay. of you that are listening listening to the recording you will know that that's what we're going to talk about next Tuesday night at seven o'clock central time. So those of you in Eastern time, I know it'll be eight o'clock, but um, let's see if that time slot will work for you. Uh, get back to me. And uh, like I said, we're going to stop right here. We'll also discuss the last slide, which is the challenge. We'll discuss the challenge at every uh, boot camp and how you are going to be building your team with this leadership boot camp. So thanks everyone. Just go ahead, go forward with the last slide because it is my favorite from, um, from uh, oh, it's not the last slide. The one was Zig Ziglar. Again, you can't chase money because money moves too fast. So choose people to serve people and money will start chasing you. So thanks, Jody, for joining us. And anyone else, please, um, you know, any questions, just get back to me and we'll see you next Tuesday night. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.